But moving on, we have a lot of earnings to deal with. We have Mr. Rakesh Sharma, the Managing Director and CEO at IDBI Bank, joining us to make sense of their earnings. Um, hi, Mr. Sharma. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. We understand that NII is, absolute, is not absolutely comparable due to the one-offs, but for the benefit of our viewers, can you help us break down the NII growth that the bank has clogged, and what are the factors which are contributing to this growth? Okay, so uh, thank you very much and good morning. So first of all, I'd like to mention that, you know, bank has shown overall growth in all the efficiency parameters and the guidance note which I have, we had given at the beginning of the year, we have been able to achieve all the factors including ROA, ROE and net NP extra and uh, slippage also. So now coming to your uh, question that the NII, so um, as you have rightly said, in fact, uh, the last year June, we had received some special recovery from uh, uh, Kingfisher, which was accounted for net interest income also and uh, the uh, return of other income also. That was around 868 crores. So that is why the base numbers are little, uh, you know, not comparable. But overall, if you see the net interest income, uh, QOQ, we have been able to show growth. And uh, QOQ, there is 3% uh, growth. So, you know, if we analyze it, they become around 12% growth. So, uh, in all the QOQ numbers, we have been able to show uh, improvement in, uh, you know, including uh, operating profit, net interest income and other income also. So, basically, it is contributed by the growth in advances because, you know, we had estimated 12% growth and we have been able to achieve. Uh, you know, this is first time that we have we are showing growth in corporate and with corporate advances also, apart from uh, retail. So, overall, now the bank is on right track and we will be able to uh, show growth of 10 to 12% over the uh, entire year. Right. So, by the inference, uh, Mr. Sharma, is your current name post one-off adjustments and then what is your name guidance going forward? Because I'm sure the street is waiting for that figure. <laughs> yeah, in fact, uh, every quarter there are some uh, one-off income uh, will be there because, you know, we are uh, affecting good recoveries and part of it goes to interest income. But internally to monitor our net interest income and net interest margin and NII also and the other uh, ratios, we calculate, you know, the excluding one of what will be the number. And that is why accordingly we have been given the uh, guidance. So the, um, it is 4.02. But if you exclude that interest income tax refund, this time also we had received around 178 crores. With that, in fact, we have been able to, you know, uh, finalize all the income tax refund more or less. So that uh, if we exclude that, it will be 3.73. But then again, in recovery, also some interest had gone. So if we exclude that also, pure from business, it will be 3.26, and which is above the you know 3.25 guidance note which we have given. So throughout the year, we are ensuring that uh, total core NIM we will be able to maintain at more than 3.25%. So when we just look at the way ahead for the banking sector. You know, credit cost was a big issue for the last 10 years across companies, especially uh, in the PSU space. You think that that credit cost is now reversing and also we are not hearing big corporates now, uh, you know, doing defaults in the last one and a half, two years. Exactly. In fact, uh, now after that AQ exercise and then of course the post AQR effect also, most of I think the banks have taken corrective steps. And now the quality of advances have also improved and especially if I mention about my bank, you know, this time of course one, uh, this quarter there were some two uh, corporate slippages were there, but that was expected retail to a retail account. Other than that, you know, in coming quarters also, we are not expecting much slippages. In even including, after including those two accounts, our uh, the slippage ratio annualized basis is 2.5% and uh, next quarter, convert, uh, in the coming quarters, we will be able to uh, you know, keep the um, slippage ratio below 2.5%. Second, credit cost, as you have rightly mentioned, our credit cost for the current quarter is 0.52. Earlier, uh, we had uh, projected a credit cost of 1.25%, but we have revised the targets downwards, and now we are, uh, you know, telling that our credit cost will be less than 1% throughout the year, and that we will ensure. So, overall, in all the, the uh, I think uh, through all the banks, and especially I can mention about my bank, the credit cost is declining, slippage ratios are declining, and the banks, I think they are showing uh, good results, and so we are.
course is likely to be below 1% mark and a lot of optimism around earnings but um mr sharma the big story is really around the divest uh, divestiture by the government right um and you have been participating in a lot of road shows as well can you give us an update with respect to what kind of response you have seen and any word coming in from lic where they take us at it no like first of all you know i would like to mention that this investment process Uh, as you know is being handled by the uh, you know the government of india by their deepam department and ultimately government of india and lic they are the owners so they will decide when to divest uh, divest how much to divest and uh, you know what terms will be there but certainly yes uh, the road shows were uh, it was pre road show basically the purpose was to understand the you know the nitty gritty of the transactions and how the interest but of course uh, i'll not be able to comment much on that because uh, once uh, the process is on you will know and uh, according as i said you know deepam and uh, uh, of course lic they will decide how much to divest and when to divest any update on the timing of that at least you can give us some clarity of what's the update in terms of the latest uh, what you've heard from deepam uh, so far uh, you know i'll request you know if this can question can be asked to deepam so i think they will be in a better position to answer but my focus as i have always been telling that my focus is to improve the performance of the bank and that you have seen during the last 3 uh, 4 uh, years the bank is showing continuous improvement so that you know even its government of india or uh, uh, lic that they do this investment they should be able to get the proper pricing that is of course one and second is that otherwise also efficiency like you know roa we had projected uh, more than one so we have been able to achieve that that's a good uh, i think uh, landmark and roe of 14.80% so my focus will be to improve the performance parameters of the bank and uh, show continuous growth and that we uh, we will take care thank you mr sharma great to have you on the show thank you as always for uh, speaking with us and eating now thank you very much thank you Okay, that's the word coming in from IDBI Bank. Just going to refresh my screen, talk about what's happening with the market. 